traders it's Anthony here I'm just taking a look at the euro dollar at the moment so we've traded into this level here you can see this high and looking left these uh, lows over here so we're rejecting under this monthly level currently so we're just going to mark that up uh, level monthly down to the weekly be much the same thing I would think this is a big level so we've traded up into it and uh, this is pretty overextended at the moment so there's our monthly level weekly level we've got this high right on the the mark back here and here here as well okay acting as resistance so you know this is a, a monthly weekly combo right so we could definitely mark that up uh, with a weekly I mark these up as an orange line level weekly and we have this really thin candle on the weekly so we just go down to the daily chart have a look at that and what I'm interested in here is possibility that we see this re uh, retrace now we've got this, uh, balance area down here that uh, is a level of interest so I'm just going to mark that up on the daily and then we'll go down to the lower time frame and I'm going to uh, give you my take on a possible trade opportunity now have a look left and see we've got this balance area here as well uh, as well as this one here so we've got a couple of these levels if we draw them across you can see this high will uh, definitely come into play so I just wanted to have a look at this on the daily see over here we've got a lot of uh, trading activity above these levels here and uh, these levels acting as support multiple times so we've rejected off this level and now retracing so let's just go down to the four hour time frame and I'm really interested in this time frame so there's a couple of things going on here first up I'm going to grab this uh, accumulation zone here on the 4h and we'll just mark that up as a point of interest We've got this high here. You can see how the market reacted around there. So we can just mark that. All right. So this will be a target area for me looking for a buy, in fact. Uh, so we'll just mark that 4H. Go down. What have we got? Level 4H. That'll do. See, 4-hour level. Now, if we grab a fib and we pull the fib from, say, low to high here. There's a couple of things about this. One, we have an imbalance. So you see this thin candle here. If we pick up the candle left and then see how this imbalance is being resolved. Okay, down to this low over here. So four hour imbalance. I'll just mark that up here currently. And I'm thinking we trade through this down into the 61.8 Fib zone would be an ideal entry long in my opinion. So we'll just mark that up as a four hour imbalance. And... Oh, I won't be setting up pending order down here, but what I will do is uh, if this trades further south, I'm going to be looking for a setup. And the setup will be, well, we'll just go down to a 15 minute time frame. It'll have to happen around uh, key times. OK, so I'm looking at uh, at the moment we've got this going on. So let's just mark up a couple of things here. In fact, I'll just pull in my Forex sessions indicator. All right, yeah, we're trading into the London Open at the moment. So we've got the London Open ahead of us the Asia close and see down here this yellow line that's my target area for a buy so if we mark up these three levels I'll just grab this line here all right first up this will be the London open okay that's that 3 a.m. New York time right there okay so we're coming into it at the moment so just watch how this trades into the London open if it spikes up we could see it rotate here possibly then we've got the asia close so i'm always interested in this zone through the london open through to the asia close that occurs at 5 a.m new york and uh, i mean this is a 15 minute time frame i'll be looking to go down to a five or a three minute and then i think the trade that i'm going to look for will hopefully be around the uh, new york open and that happens at around 8 a.m new york time and when we go down to the five minute chart it all makes sense so we know that this is traded up we can see this downward trajectory here definitely and if it trades up into the london open we could see it rotate so i mean whether it finds its feet around here and then we get a long a buy opportunity into the new york open that remains to be seen you know or we could see a sell opportunity so we'll just be waiting for that um just grab this on a five minute what i really want to see is this trading down into these levels here but so you could take a short if it sets up and then my target for a buy is going to be around here i hope this makes sense around this this level here this is my uh 618 61.8 fib zone and we've got this imbalance right so let's just go back out again and uh get a bit of a perspective by the way guys click on the links below and uh join my free 
Telegram. See here, what I'm interested in is, you know, we've got, in, we got these imbalances on the 15 minute chart running through this four hour. Okay, so we can see here, if we uh, pick up triangle, this thin candle here. Right, so this is definitely a point of interest for me, this level here. So we'll just mark that. 15, got this imbalance. Where are we? Price at the moment is trading slightly above here. So I'm expecting this to, to uh, trade back down through these levels here, looking to rebalance on the higher time frame. Right, and I don't really want to get involved with this unless I see these, um, unless I see price trade back down into these levels. So, you know, we've got these two levels here. Here. and uh, this one in particular this one down here what I'm mainly interested in and at the moment that's where we're at that's resolved we'll just get rid of that and it's this imbalance here that coincides with this 4h this area here but let's just see if we travel down in through here and then if we go out to the 4h now with all of this marked up potential um, buy opportunity possibly okay I'll just grab my pencil all right we've got resistance here where are we pencil all right we can see the monthly and the weekly level here let's see if we get a trade down into this level here so that's a big port of call right here you can see this balance area down through here four hour um, bullish order block don't underestimate how far this thing can travel but I'd be looking for opportunities around the 61.8 see see how I've got this uh, yellow zone on my fib pencil's not working so well okay something like that that would be my uh, the opportunity that I'm looking for okay guys uh, look I'll uh, wrap this up that's my take on the uh, euro dollar if it travels down into this this buy zone I'd be interested but I want to see the setup I want to see it rotate around this this uh, this level down here rotate and give me a lower time frame higher highs higher lows you know, start to see a bit of a break in structure a bullish break uh, break of structure okay guys that's it have a great day safe trading and we'll see you in the next video